All right, coming up next is the UFC Light Heavyweight Division Collision. You ready? You ready? All right, so here he is, ready for round one. This man is all the rage, given what he did his last... Oh! He is getting lit up right now, John. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! Just missed with the left there. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Fantastic takedown land. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. All right, so he postures up, nicely done. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. I love watching this guy move on the ground, another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler, you don't see that very often. All right, side control now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Ground and pound strike there now. Now the guy's got armbar, he's attacking it on him. Useful strike on the ground, that was. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Nice stick with the right hand. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. 15 seconds to go. Big knee there to the chest. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next yeah, round underway, ready, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that out. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only just punches, not only just strikes, they were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy to make that determination. Rock. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Single collar tie now. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind. Nice entry into the finish direct. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now look. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. And he's out. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions. It's effective straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got to hurt very bad. True on the double leg. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. That knee might have landed there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. When you're in the boat, oh. he's in trouble. He's, he's hurt bad. Now look at him jumping in. That is it. Do you believe it? He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like... BJJ, we are looking for your sparring partner to tap, okay? Not blackout, but tap. So let's be playful. Let's go. Uh, all right, let's work. Uh, come on, get active.
Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one. His knockout streak really has been the stuff of legend, knocking out contenders left and right. He's won his last three, all of them by flush knockout. Shades of Vitor Belfort back in 2013. We'll see if he can keep it going here tonight. Good punch lands. And he switches to southpaw. All right, here we go with round one. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to set up a takedown here early and ultimately get to some of those ground strikes. He's definitely wanting to get on the shot right away. This guy knows exactly what he is at his core, and he uses it as effectively as anyone who's seen in the octagon. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And there comes the separation now. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good punch. Oh, kick home and now his opponent. 
opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this play. Oh, he might be out. Single collar tie now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch land over the top. Back and forth we go here. He's having to fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit there. What a round! All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body. Oh! Body. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been... He's hurt bad. Oh, he got him. He got him. And he is back up to his feet. Punch coming. It's blocked. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Switching stances here. Oh! Oh! Unbelievable! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 46 seconds of round number 2. Declared the winner by Knockout Alcantara.
Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not...